Did Begman's dog training change my mind? This is a gentle lead and this is a prong collar. Let me explain. I should have traded you chairs so you could have the taller seat. Billy, sit. I don't want you on my lap. If you follow any of Joel Beckman's content, he uses a gentle lead in the majority of cases that he works with, at least in the beginning. If you follow any of my content, I use a lot of prong collars. A lot of my videos show prong collars. Here, when I become a better YouTuber, I won't have a pit bull underneath the camera shaking it and messing it up. When COVID hit in 2020, I had this panic because Herm Springer prong collars all of a sudden became unavailable. How am I gonna help clients? Because they need a breakthrough now. So powwowing with Jerry and talking about all of this stuff, she had the same feeling. Like we really, really did not like the fact that something outside of who we brought to the table had control over helping us help people help their dog. And then somewhere along the way, we stumbled upon Joel's content and realized that he was using a lot of gentle leads. Now my experience with a gentle lead and how I was taught was the reason it was ineffective is because it causes constant pressure on the dog's snout, meaning that there's pressure and the second you take it off, the dog is gonna go back to the old behavior. Well, newsflash, anything used incorrectly causes pressure. And every single tool used incorrectly is simply a management system. So if you aren't trying to build that relationship with the dog, then absolutely, if you take it off, that dog's gonna go back to the old behavior. So I dove into Joel's content and I geeked out over it. I love, love, love what he brings to the table. And it's not because he uses gentle leads or flat buckles or harnesses. That's not what I love about this guy. What I love about this guy is his attitude and his delivery. That's what makes him a phenomenal dog trainer. What he does and the way that he talks to clients and he puts his information out there on YouTube, it's duplicatable. Anyone can do it. What he really drives home is, this is, this is one of his go-tos that I love. This is my favorite. <clears throat> I'm the boss of the house. You're not the boss of the house. Prince is the boss of his house. That's what he gets out. I'm the one that pays the bills. And this is mine when I talk to my clients. I pay the bills, not that dog. If that dog paid the bills, by all means, do whatever you want. I will be at your beck and call. I pay the bills. There need to be boundaries, rules, restrictions, limitations, all of that stuff. You don't just get to do whatever you want, whenever you want, because you showed up. I love you. I'm gonna give you everything when we build a relationship and we both understand what the rules, boundaries, structure are. But that's on me to do that. And a lot of my earlier videos, when I first started out on YouTube, I hammer home the Herm Springer prong collar because for me, it was wildly effective. And it still is because I know how to use it. I can tell a dog's body language, demeanor. I know without even knowing the dog, I know what pressure I need to use. I know what vocals, what body language. Do I need to be lower to the ground? Do I need to, be, do I need to back off a little bit? Do I need to not use anything on the dog right away? Because it's all I do all day long. Here's what I think the most important part about using any tool is. If it makes you uncomfortable to use a certain tool, it is going to make you a less competent version of yourself. You're gonna feel like a piece of shit. You're gonna feel like you're hurting your dog. You're gonna be very uncertain and all of that energy and makeup and everything that you're bringing to the table, the dog's gonna pick up on. And Caesar says, no dog will follow an uncertain leader. No animal will follow an uncertain leader. So if there's a particular tool that makes you uneasy, either A, research the you know what out of it before you use it or don't use it. That is not a get out of jail free card. You still have to work on you. You have to be the most competent version of yourself. I think that these are wonderful. I think these are wonderful. I think these are a great tool when they're used correctly. I don't have a problem with these when they are used correctly. So the landing of the plane is you've got to do what's right for you because the truth is everything works when it's used properly. If you haven't checked out my Leash Foundation course, it's 20 bucks, it's seven videos, it's yours forever. It's all slip lead. There's one video at the very end that's prong collar if you're interested in knowing a little bit about that, but there's also tons of prong collar videos on my channel. Anyway, it's all slip lead, so it's not intimidating. There's, it's the very basics of foundation, and a lot of dogs really don't need more than that. Some might go to a gentle lead, and some might go to a prong collar, but the foundation is so that you know how to communicate with that dog on any leash that you use. And then there's also a Facebook group that you can join where I'm active in there and you can ask questions, post videos, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, so if you don't follow Beckman's dog training, I highly suggest you do. I'll leave his link in the description below. Sailor Jerry, her YouTube channel is called Tulsa Pack Athletics. She doesn't do a ton of YouTube where she's really, really heavy in content is Instagram and TikTok and it's called Sailor Jerry. So I'm gonna put that in the description below. I'll put the Leash Foundation in the description below. If you guys have other trainers that you think are really, really valuable, drop them in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what you think about this video. If you use a gentle lead, I wanna know all of it. I wanna be here to support you guys as we go through this. And more than anything, I want you to be open-minded about it because I don't think I was in the beginning and that's all changing now because the truth is there's no one way to do this. And it's not about us, it's about our dogs. If this video was helpful for you, do all the things. Like it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. And lastly, if you want a better dog, work on yourself. I'll see you guys in the next video.